Hey there designers, I wanted to bring you a quick tutorial for how to use the export feature in Tinkercad when you are ready to share or 3D print one of your designs. So I've got here a Puzzle Cube mock-up that's similar to the Puzzle Cube design challenge that we do in uh, design and modeling class. And I thought I would just kind of give this a quick spin around before you go to print anything, you always want to double check that everything's aligned to the work plane, that everything is in the proper orientation uh, as you would like it printed. And now this looks pretty good to me. So I'm gonna check up here. You can rename your file. Please be sure that you've named your file something that gives a quick description of what it is and potentially your name if you are one of many students that are participating in a design challenge. Once you've got the file named prop appropriately and your design looks good, you just click the export button. And we're gonna go ahead and click the export button. Now you can export things as different types of files. You can export your designs as OBJ files. To be honest, I'm not that familiar with OBJ files. STL files are what we use most commonly uh, with our 3D prints here. Um, you can also export them as SVGs, which is kind of interesting for laser cutting applications or carving applications. We're gonna go ahead and just click STL. Now also note, you can export everything in your design or just specific pieces uh, if you've selected those things first. So go ahead and click STL. And then what's neat here is I'm working on a Chromebook. I can either just download that STL to my download so that I can put it on a USB and take it over to a 3D printer or a computer that's hooked up to a 3D printer, or I can put it in my drive. And what I can do there is if I put it onto a drive account and I've got a drive uh, a folder that is set for all my 3D models, I highly recommend you do the same if you're doing this often. I can go ahead and say, yeah, put, it, put that in my 3D models folder. And what's cool is when I do that, I can then use all of the functionality of a cloud-based account to share that STL file. I can email it to somebody, I can share it with my team if I'm collaborating with other people. I can create hyperlinks to that STL file like you'll see done here where students have created hyperlinks to their STLs. Um, I can also associate them with screenshots to show people what I've created and drafted um, and then give them access to those links. But it's really a neat process and it all just starts with this export button here in Tinkercad. So please make sure that again, your file's ready for printing, that the file name is something that can be recognized and meets the parameters set up by your instructor. And just go ahead and click that export button and you can export things for 3D printing um, using the features embedded in Tinkercad. I hope you find that helpful and please stay creative, keep creating there.